Hey y'all, it's your girl Camille, and we're here with Cooking with Camille. Today we're going to do uh, a casserole, and uh, I asked my husband to name it for me. I said, because I'm just going to put some gadgets together and make something. You're going to need hamburger, you're going to need bacon, I got bacon fried up, I got some beef, uh, some uh, sausage fried up, I made my own sausage with some sage. Like uh, Bob Evans, it's just ground pork with some sausage, I mean some sage. I can eat a little bacon. And then uh, I got hamburger, I got tomato sauce, I got some elbow macaroni, I got some Velveeta cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, Kobe Jack. We don't use all that. I'm going to use this Kobe Jack first. You're going to need an onion, you're going to need some peppers, I'm going to use them up. I even got some chuck steaks. We're going to do that, too. And we're going to make a casserole. I'm going to wash this chuck steak and cut it up, too. And we're going to add it to this hamburger um, pork. And we're going to get this party started. I'm going to boil the pasta. I got some, oh, some zig noodles. I think I'm going to use the zig noodles and some macaroni. Okay? We're going to make this. And I'm going to ask my husband think of a name to call it. Okay, this is the chuck roll. I'm just cut it in square, um, not square, little chunks, and we're going to deep fry that. And we're going to set it on the side. I got the sausage done, I got the bacon done, and I got this done. Now we're going to fry the hamburger. Okay, we're just going to season our meat. I got a little, same way I did with the, the sausage and the beef. I got a little Italian, you know I use Italian for everything, Italian seasoning. This is by Chef Carmen, the ones who don't watches me. But you can use any kind of Italian. I use any kind of Italian. Uh, this is uh, got, I Got You Seasoning. This is really good. You can get four for $29.99. So got a special going on. Uh, I'm going to put a little garlic lovers in there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> garlic lovers in there. And then I got <coughs> Oh no, excuse me. I um all-purpose all purpose seasoning. I'm going to use a little of that. I don't want to make it too salty. And we're just going to season that. Okay? I'm going to add um, a few I got some crushed red peppers. I'm going to add a few red peppers. We don't like a lot of stuff real hot. We're just going to add a few just to get that bite. Just a few because this stuff is hot. Put it behind up. Okay? We're just gonna brown that now. Okay, now, we're gonna, while this hamburger's cooking, we're gonna add our peppers, our onions, and I got two cloves of garlic. We're gonna add that to our hamburger and stir fry it. I call it stir fry. We're gonna mix that all together while the hamburger's cooking. Just continue to cook it. And when this time, we're going to add all our meat back together. Oh, our water's boiling. We're going to add our zip. Zip. We're going to add that. It's only a little bit. And I uh, some elbow macaroni. We're going to add some of that. We're going to have two macaronis. The zip and uh, some elbow mac. I'm going to add a little bit there. They're both macaroni, so we're going to see how it do. That's enough. We don't want to add too much. You know, macaroni puffs up. We'll save that for some macaroni and cheese one day. Okay, the water is already boiling. We'll get that going. We're going to get this stuff stir fried and get this going. So this is about a half of a pepper that I had left in the refrigerator and a half of an onion and two cloves of garlic, okay? And then we put those seasonings in it and we're just going to... We don't want to make it salty. We want to just keep stir frying until you get it good and golden brown. Okay, now that we've got it all brown, this is our hamburger. We're going to add our pork and our beef in there. That's three kinds of meat right there. We're going to add that with our onions and our peppers. And we're going to add this bacon. I know I don't do pork, but I do do bacon and a little sausage, but I'm about to take a bin and grill. <laughs> Benadryl. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. We're going to mix it all together. And then taste it to see if you need anything. You don't want to make it too salty. 
I'm gonna add a little more garlic. Garlic. Garlic lovers. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add um, let me think, some onion powder to it. Oh, okay, that's a new one. Let me get an old one. I got some gourmet burger seasoning. I'm gonna try that too. Let's add that because we do got burger in there. Let's add some of that to it. We don't want to do too much because it might be salty. We're going to add some of that. And I'm doing about half a teaspoon of everything, okay? Half a teaspoon. That's enough. And we're just going to stir it and keep stirring it. And let that just simmer for about 10 minutes till our noodles get done. Okay? Let that hamburger continue to cook and then we're going to add our sauce to it. Okay, I'm going to add a, a jar of marinating pasta sauce. Any kind of pasta sauce you got. I got this because it was on sale uh, a couple of weeks couple of weeks ago. We're just going to add the whole can. And then I'm going to put a little water in there. And get the excess out of there. A little water. Shake it up. You know, you never always use what you got. Things cost too much now. You got to use everything. Y'all know what I mean. I just stir that up. And y'all know me. I put a little sugar in my stuff. Especially with spaghetti sauce. It's just me. Look almost like a... Ooh, almost like a sloppy jill mix, huh? We got my husband still thinking he on the phone. But he's still thinking... Uh, on the phone talking to somebody. So when he gonna tell me what he will, we gonna name it. Okay? And you know what we're going to add? We're going to add some. Oh, that's the oven. Oh, yeah. Preheat your oven to 350. I mean, 375. And uh, I'm going to fill this pepper thing up. I'll add some pepper to it. Okay. And then just uh, stir it up. I'm waiting on that. And then when the pasta's done, we'll continue to add to it. Just continue to add. Let me stir it up. When it's done, we'll continue to do our pasta. We're going to let that keep cooking. Then I tell y'all, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar to get that bitter taste out of there. Just a tablespoon. Add that and stir that up in there. And we'll be back. Okay, now we're going to add the pasta to it, like this, and then we're just going to stir it in there, okay? Stir it in. Stir it in. And then we're going to put it in a casserole dish. So let's just stir it all in, and we'll come back to you. Okay, now this is the way it looks. You can also add more sauce if you need more sauce, but I'm going to add cheese to it. <clears throat> so you can if you want, so we're going to... I spray spray your casserole dish. Let me do here. Spray your casserole dish and just start layering it. Might be too much. I might have to get a bigger one. Just layer it. Just like so. I'm making a mess. And then we're going to add some cheese to it. <clears throat> I started to put kibasi in here, but we're going to eat kibasi. <clears throat> Sunday, I got some beef kibasi. We're gonna have it for Sunday on the grill, so I didn't want to use that kibasi. So you can put any kind of meat you want in there: hot dogs, kibasi, uh, chicken. Uh, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna put this cheese in there. This is uh oh, I just got some Velveeta cheese. We're gonna put that in there on the bottom, and then we're gonna. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to add some, um, some Kobe Jack, and I'm going to add some sharp cheddar. And then we're going to put it in the oven after we and keep layering it. And then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for about 20 minutes. And then I'll tell you the name that hubby said, okay? Might have to go get a charger because it might try to, the phone, phone might go out, so I might have to charge my phone. Now, this is the Kobe Jack. 
Ini mau ada. Oops. Kobe Jack. <clears throat> and then we're gonna add some chair. Um, I just want to use that pack up and then go ahead and add some more um mixture and just keep doing it till you fill up everything. Okay, <clears throat> this is what it looks like after you put the last cheese on, and we're gonna put it in the oven on 375 <clears throat> for 20 minutes. And we're gonna make a salad to go with it. And we're gonna make some garlic <clears throat> biscuits, okay? Or gar let me see what I got first before I call it, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do these garlic biscuits. We're gonna spray our pan so they won't stick. And all you do is put your biscuits, we're only gonna do one side because if you do both sides, it's gonna be real salty. We're just gonna do one side, okay? We're gonna uh, butter our biscuit. And squeeze the other one in there. And you just take your, um, I got some soft butter. And we're just gonna take that butter and roll it on your biscuit like so. Just roll it. And then we're going to add, and just follow the biscuit recipe, how to bake it. And, uh, <clears throat> and just do it uh, easy. Just put butter and garlic salt. We're going to use garlic. I'm going to use that uh, garlic lover. And we don't want to put too much because we don't want to make it too salty because we try not to do too much salt around here. So I'm going to use the garlic lovers because it don't have that much salt in it. And we're just going to sprinkle it on there. Each one. Just a sprinkle. Like so. And then <clears throat> we're going to put some parsley on there. Let me see if I can find some fresh parsley. I got plenty of basil. I got some parsley somewhere. I just got to find it. Oh, you know what? I got some fresh parsley in there. And hold on. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got some fresh parsley. Hold on. Hold on. I got some fresh parsley. There we go. There we go. We're going to use a fresh parsley. And we're going to bake these. There we go. Parsley garlic biscuits. Okay? <clears throat> and then we're going to put them in the oven also. Follow the instructions on the cart, on the can. Okay, y'all, here's our casserole. Look at it. And our biscuits. And I got a salad. Now I'm going to plate it up and I'm going to tell you what the husband named it. Okay, y'all, here it is. Guess what we're going to name it? We've got our biscuits, garlic, um, garlic parsley biscuits, a nice salad with some blueberries and cherries. I mean, uh, Blueberries, onions, cucumber, and tomato with some ranch dressing. Okay. And then we got our pasta. Y'all saw what we made it. And guess what we're going to name it? Roller Coaster Casserole. Roller Coaster Casserole. I said, why would you name it that? He said, because you got all them different uh, wheels and uh, macaronis in there. That's the roller coaster. And you got all that cheese and all that different meat. So a roller coaster, you never know where the roller coaster going to go. Take you upside down, all around. So we're going to call it a roller coaster casserole. Y'all, that's the name of our meal today. Roller coaster casserole. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that salad. Look at that garlic bread. Okay, y'all. Y'all know next week is the uh, last week of the month. So you know what we do. So put your name. You got to subscribe to the YouTube channel on the comment. Just comment one time how you like the meal for the day and enter into the contest. Okay? That's um you um wherever your name is from the last wheel to now, you can get in, but you only need to enter one time. Um so uh, that's where we're gonna. That's where we at. Okay, okay, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all probably Sunday because 
We're going to cook outside some if it don't rain. Okay, we're not cooking tomorrow. It's leftovers. And y'all have a blessed day. Okay, again, roller coaster pasta with garlic parsley biscuits and a garden salad, organic garden salad. Okay, with blueberries. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.